Okay, today we're going to talk about chords that reside or live within other chords. And this is an exciting thing to know and understand, and so let's get right to it. All right, first things first, let's go back to we really extended our chords out last week. So let's take one of those. Let's take your F minor 7, minor 9, minor 11, minor 13. We have it extended out very nicely, all thirds. Okay, there's your uh, minor 13 chord. For today, just for purposes, uh, I'm going to take the 13th off, so we're just looking at a minor 11 chord. What you're going to see is that within this big chord, there are a number of triads. Let's look at them. Here's A flat major. Here's C minor. And here's E flat major. All of them live within there. What does that mean? Well, if you were playing an F bass and you played an A flat triad, you can play the A flat in any position and you're playing an F minor 7 chord. Okay? And if you add the F, you'll notice that it doesn't really change the sound. Listen. dissonance there so really it's not that much it's not that necessary in most cases to worry about the root because it's being covered by the bass now let's look let's take this one step further we also have a major 7 chord here a flat major 7 and we have C minor 7 and finally if we really stretch things out we have a flat major 9 chord okay now if you know your chords and all their various different uh, inversions and I place for instance an, uh, an A flat major 7 over F which turns out to be a F minor 9 correct then we have so this is F minor 9 in a bunch of different not worrying about the bass note, but worrying about the extended part or the chords above. Now, what does this mean in playing? It means when you know all these other little chords, the C minor, the E flat, and all this that exist, when you start playing, I'll do a progression of just F to B flat minor, F minor to B flat minor, you'll see that you can 